So for this video, I wanted to um, redraw the old sketches of mine, um, the sketches from about uh, 2017. Um, I will, should, maybe, I don't know. It, it appears later in the video, but I feel like I should definitely put it on now. Maybe I'll insert a clip at the beginning of what it is. But yeah, um, I'm just using Procreate for this one. Um, I slowed down the amount of time lapse that it has, which was only like two minutes or three minutes. But it was going because that, that was really fast because um, this drawing took me like almost six hours. It was like like five hours and like 40 something minutes or something like that. Um, and a lot of that time was um, spent trying to get this pose down. Um, I had a reference. Uh, the foreshortening was the big, the big thing. So you will see me draw it again and again and again. Draw it to get the pose. And then once I have the pose, start simplifying the shape so that I can. Part of the video because oh boy was that a cough but yeah so here's another pass through of me again trying to just simplify that form I think that's one of my favorite things but honestly one of the most tedious things about drawing a new a new pose especially when it's one you're you're not that comfortable with is just really really just breaking it down as much as you can and you see on that first that first one to really Help me follow the flow. Um, I added in um, those contour lines. I think that's really helpful when you have, um, you know, drawing a pose, perspective, foreshortening, all that sort of stuff. Just any situation where you feel like you need help feeling what the form, um, what the form is. So after I kind of got a pose down then I wanted to um, sketch out the outfit and for me there was definitely some challenge with because I definitely knew I wanted to do something different than the first one um, but still kind of um, pay homage to it if you will um, so I kind of ended with uh, keeping the um, top part with having uh, those kind of off the shoulder straps with the stars um, at the connecting points, but I also added a cape. And then I changed the, 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 the design um, from the staff, honestly, to make it easier to draw in, for, in like this perspective, but it was still extremely hard to draw in this perspective. Uh, added a, a, a sash with some um, bags for magical components and uh, I kind of went with a more flared out uh, skirt and I kept the pants the same. The flared out kind of skirt bit um, will change quite a bit. What I used to ink is um, just a modified version of the 6B pencil in um, Procreate. I just, I, I think kind of with the cartoony style, it, it works pretty well. I also just like how it, um, it feels. Uh, here we go. Welcome to the, I, I, I stepped out of line art purgatory for a second to do, how do I want this, uh, skirt to look like uh, purgatory, <laughs> which is kind of where we are. And, um, I was doing, I did the, um, the outfit and the inking uh, at least the inking I know I did that and everything after that well not everything till towards the end on stream um, over on my twitch that was me showing them all the different sketch layers I had because <laughs> uh, there was a lot um, yeah and it's just gonna be a lot of flitzing around for a bit So uh, after I kind of got to a place where I was like, okay, this is good enough with this skirt, 
I went added in little details, inked in the um, the pants, and I started inking in those sort of little um, triangle triangular pieces. And I decided that I didn't want it to. At first, I thought I, I wanted it to be just one piece, um, but I decided with the um, bottom part of the skirt, kind of like the petticoat. I really like. We love a decorative petticoat, um, but instead, I kind of. Um, went ahead and had them be added on which is honestly from a seamstress like if you're a seamstress I imagine that'd be way more work um, adding in the details adding in the stars getting the perspective on the stars and was hard and we were talking about maybe some ideas about um, to have some sort of magic coming out of the staff I think I didn't end up going with that uh, just for the sake of time and for the sake of my own mental sanity. Plus the idea of having anything potentially covered um, after <laughs> spending like almost six hours on it um, wasn't one I was fond of. Here I didn't finish inking but to keep things kind of like fresh you gotta keep it interesting. Um, I went through all the different options for how I wanted to do the hair. Um, and just to kind of so I can, adding in a little bit of color so I could start seeing how it was coming together, which can kind of reinvigorate it like, okay, I'm almost there. I have the vision. Yes. And so after I played around with that, uh, I finished inking everything <laughs> and then cleaning up the colors that was um, a big thing. I forgot the star on the face. I was like, I gotta go back. Um, how I wanted to do the dress was also something because I knew I kind of wanted to have something slightly darker. Like I wanted a gradient on the cape so I didn't want the whole dress to be um, dark. So I kind of, I, I kind of painted it in less than like a pure navy to kind of like a midnight blue, you know, a little bit of clouds sort of vibes going on. I thought that would be appropriate, but not too far from a, not too far of a departure from, not too far of a departure from the original. Yeah. Um, for sure. Uh, adding some shading and blending it out and knowing how much blended I wanted and how much like hard sort of more like cell shading. Which, I, which I'm a, more of a fan of personally, but I like cartoons, I like animation, so it, I guess it's not a, probably not <laughs> a surprise that I also like cell shading. <laughs> um, this is me just trying to uh, kind of get like, um, trying to decide what colors I want. I think I ended up just going with like an off-white for the petticoat. Um, yeah, and so coloring in each one of those little triangles bit by bit by bit and, and cleaning all that stuff up. Now working on the um, the cape, splotching in some various uh, blues and kind of just blending them to kind of give that illusion of a night sky. You know I've seen quite a few artworks where like the underside of something it's like a cape or the underside of like um, uh, a dress or like the inside of a blazer has like um, a really awesome kind of spacey pattern so I was definitely inspired by that yeah so I'm gonna finish up my shading everywhere and kind of just clean things up a little bit ooh add in those little wisps I, I always like that they kind of like break the the away from the lines um, and there's just something about that that I like I decided that you know she's a star wizard maybe she keeps some like stars and, and clouds in her um, magic components I added a star to the bottom of it so I didn't feel like a baseball bat anywhere um, and yeah, and just clean things up a little bit, but not too clean, so kind of wanting to have that sort of sketchbooky feel to it. And a quick little background and a sign and we were done. So yeah, here's the difference um, between the original 
Ooh, wow, 2017, Deborah, so creative, so ambitious. And 2022, Deborah, wow, yeah, that's pretty all right. All right, <laughs> so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.